may be the sixth god, but he's not making any friends in the city known as the mistake by the lake. Drizzy's beloved Raptors suffered a heartbreaking overtime one-point loss in game one of their series against the Cleveland Cavaliers, and Champagne Pappy had some heated words with one of the Cavs. McLean's Adrian Lee is here to break it down for us. Yeah, Perk. <laughs> Perk, Perk ain't backing down. Uh, the Raptors ambassador Drake is sitting with the number one and number two songs on the Billboard 100 charts, but nothing can stop him from cheering on his favorite basketball team in the six. The rapper also won't take any smack talk from the Raptors competition. He, he sort of won this fight, to be honest with you. He went up to uh, a, a bench player uh, for the Cavaliers uh, while he that bench player was talking to Serge Ibaka, my Raptor. Uh, those two were talking trash. Drake decided to step in and talk a little himself. And uh, one thing led to another. Drake decided not to stand down. And now here we are talking about it. What does this do for Drake's rep? Uh, honestly, I think it just feeds into what we already know about Drake. So, you know, historically, he's been seen as this pillowy soft rapper, this uh, this guy who's really infused R&B into uh, hip-hop in a real way. Uh, but, you know, ever since 2015's, uh, uh, if you're reading this, it's too late, um, he's, sort of, he's sort of become harder. And he has put out, you know, he has done some things uh, against Meek Mill that has really, that has really sort of improved his stock vis-a-vis uh, -vis being a, you know, quote-unquote hard rapper. So I think uh, Toronto loves Drake, Raptor fans loves Drake. And uh, it's good. I think Toronto sports needs someone like Drake uh, to, to, to voice this, uh, this sort of mentality that we constantly have that we're not good enough. I think it's, it's good to say, actually, we are. Game two of the series between Toronto and Cleveland takes place on Thursday. And no doubt all eyes will be on the God's Plan singer to see if he adds more fuel to the fire. For City News, I'm Terry Hart.